I think it's important to kind of just recognize how fast it went and how successful it's been amidst a pandemic, amidst travel restriction and masking and lockdowns. And still, trade shot up, travel shot up, 200,000 Israeli tourists in the middle of a pandemic. So despite all these headwinds, despite all these restrictions, two countries that essentially did not know each other very enthusiastically embraced each other. Different cultures, different languages, different religions. If you want to get other countries excited and see, hey, there's benefit here, there's value, look at the technology cooperation, look at the trade, look at the investment, that's on us. We have to prove that it's a success and that's why we're negotiating a free trade agreement. That's why we're doing things like Project Prosperity. So if you ask me like which country is next, I will tell you that that's a decision for that country and that country's political system and that country's leadership and that country's public opinion. Our job is to get it right with the countries that have signed up. 